There will always be variation. If we know that there is night to night variation in someone's sleep, then there will be even more variation when we use different tools to measure their sleep. As long as the numbers are similar, that's okay. What I typically do is I'll look at what's the cluster of their sleep over across a week with maybe seven to 10 nights of testing with a certain setting. And then I'll look at their sleep with a different setting. Like how does this cluster of sleep compare to this cluster of sleep rather than how does this value of sleep compared to this value of sleep because the night to night variability is so high that it's extremely hard to ignore. Medical grade devices, they have, they're rigorously, they've gone through the FDA in terms of their precision and their accuracy. So the data is going to be far better there than any consumer grade wearable. And then there's also a lot of night to night variability and how one is measuring sleep is different with different tools. So there is going to be some level of variability that happens that is inter tool variability. So this is normal. So what you're describing that there is some variation that is normal, but the thing to be mindful of is if if on one test, let's say the burden of hypoxia is X, on the other test is like 50% more, there's something is wrong. But if the difference is say, you know, say 10%, I think that's just an inter-tool, inter-night variability.